This is our, uh, our dog, Smallwood was his name, Tracks in the Snow, that I based this on. It would be almost impossible to make up that snow out of your head. And this particular overcast light, for some strange reason, the inside of the tracks are lighter than the surface. The surface is facing the sky. It should be lighter. The tracks should be darker because they're like looking into a pit. Uh-uh. And I don't, it's a mystery to me, but it is true that somehow there's refraction going on back and forth across the sides of the pit that the dog tracks have made that is causing the snow to glow from within. So I had to very carefully, and it was, it was quite a challenge to get that snow surface. It's not simple to paint seemingly nothing. <laughs> uh, emptiness is not nothing. And the snow is carefully modulated, so you feel the wolf is... I wanted to give this feeling of loneliness, and the wolf is all going, you know, headed off alone. There's something out there. There's a sense of mystery, even though it's pretty obvious you're seeing the wolf as to what is the wolf looking at, what are its ears perk forward to, why is the wolf alone and not with a pack. And I've located the wolf in the composition very deliberately, close to the dynamic point. I often find the dynamic point, and then just to be slightly disturbing, but it's all subconscious, and maybe it, maybe it doesn't work at all, but just to make it just a little more edgy, I, um, I put them just a, little, a bit above the dynamic point.